Now, we all know that exercise is good for our physical and mental health, but two young boys have found it particularly beneficial. It's Autism Awareness Week, and Jane Dougal went to meet nine-year-old Jack and his 11-year-old brother Alfie to find out how going to the gym has helped them. Brothers Jack and Alfie share more than just DNA. They also have a genetic trait. They're both autistic. And up. Well done, that's really good. Going to the gym and taking part in a children's session near their home in Hampshire has helped with social skills and their parents say it also calms them down. He's having a meltdown while we're out. He can struggle uh, with just the simplest things with noise, busy environments. Um, it could be as simple as something, a, a smell. I think everybody's awareness is just, it's getting there, but it's not quite where it needs to be. Jack's quite a physical child. Um, at school, they had noticed that he had quite a lot of pent-up energy that would then turn into frustration. And I wanted to give him an outlet so that as he gets older, he knows that when he is feeling anxious, when he is feeling like he's got this burst of energy, that he can come to the gym. How do you feel when you finish at the gym and you come out afterwards? I just feel relaxed, really, just like relief from the stress. Like most brothers, there's still that competitive streak. And are you better than your brother? Yes. No, he's not. <laughs> I'm better at squats than him. He just, um, well, he's getting used to it now. And before he was judging me. <laughs> OK. Generally, the noises and lights in a gym could give someone with autism a sensory overload, but the condition affects different people in different ways. Well, every autistic person is different, and yes, there's a lot of banging and a lot of noises and some bright lights here. Just from speaking to them, one of the things that they really value is that actually the other people here and the trainers all understand autism, and that's one of the most important things that we want to get across this World Autism Awareness Week. <laughs> The main objective of this week is to bring awareness. 79% of autistic people say they feel isolated because of public reactions to their behaviour. But Jack certainly knows what the public wants. Jane Diggle, Sky Sports.